term quality can actually mean quite a few things really when you're talking about digital photography. However, at the moment we're just going to be talking about how it relates to the image quality setting on the camera. Let's have a look at that. Now on the back of my camera, this image quality setting, you see there's quite a few different settings there but um, in reality it's only really three different things and three different sizes. Just um, a few different variations upon that. There was three image file formats, RAW, JPEG and TIFF, just to explain the differences between them. The RAW is the raw image data straight off the camera sensor which can be interpreted by your own computer software uh, yourself before the image is finalized. It's the best quality option and uh, it does offer a little bit more leeway if you need to uh, change something like uh, the color or and just a little bit of exposure changes as well. With the JPEG, the image data is interpreted and finalized by the camera software and then compressed. There is a very slight uh, level of um, quality reduction by compressing it. However, in the the highest quality uh, JPEG setting, you won't really notice much difference. Now, the problem with this format is if you do need to change the uh, exposure or color settings, that can be destructive to the image and you will further degrade the image. TIFF is much the same. The image data is interpreted and finalized by the camera software, but it is not compressed. Very, very little benefit over the JPEG, and, uh, but because it's not compressed, it's quite a large file size. The JPEG will give you a much smaller file size, so you fit a lot more on your uh, memory card. Now there's three JPEG quality levels. There's uh, Mine says fine, uh, normal and basic. Some cameras might say high, medium and low. Now that's just a different level of compression. And with the more compression you have, the more loss of quality you have in the image. In the high or the fine setting, you have little to no visible loss at all. In the medium normal, you'll have a very slight visible loss of quality. And in the low or basic quality setting, you'll get a quite a noticeable quality loss. The reasons you would pick the normal or the basic quality settings would just be to get a smaller file size to fit more on your memory card. Let's have a look and see what this loss of quality is, how the compression affects our image. Here's our digital image again. I've saved it in the medium quality setting. Probably not big enough to actually see the problems. But let's have a look closer in. Zoomed it up there. You can see this all these smudgy bits where the arrow is pointing out. That's called artifacts. That's the sort of problems which you get. Now I'm just gonna I've saved it. At the low setting you can see, you can probably see the sky is starting to look a little bit blocky and if we zoom in a bit closer you can see that those artifacts have become even more pronounced. Another thing to keep in mind if you're doing any work on your images in an editing program is if you keep saving back to a JPEG it's going to lose more and more information out of the photo so those artifacts will get progressively worse as you keep doing it. So if you are going to work on your photo I suggest you save it as a TIFF first. Do your work on it and when you're all finished with it you can save it back to a JPEG if you like. I'll show you how to do that in ACDC really quickly. Okay here I am in ACDC. Now I've been using ACDC for quite a while now. I use it for all my work stuff. I use it for proofing and making contact sheets and and for generally managing my photos and my personal photos as well, which I'm what, which is what I'm looking at at the moment. And um, you can actually download a free trial copy uh, at the bottom of the video page here, or if you're on, if you found us on YouTube, just uh, click through to the camera settings.net website and you can get it through there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick some photos to. Uh, work on. Maybe you want to change the color or density on, on some of these. 
and because we're going to work on them we want them in a lossless file format so we can save back to them later and, and not lose any quality out of the photo okay there we go picked a few um, control C to copy file new folder and we call that work on drop them in there and um, what we'll have then is it's a it's another copy we've still got the JPEGs in the other folder but uh, that the it's gonna go tools batch convert file format all these formats you can choose from we're going to choose TIFF because it's lossless there we go it's just converting them all to TIFFs actually one of them already was but doesn't matter and we can work on these photos save them back to itself open them up later do it again without losing any quality at all from them okay no worries that's all for this one just in brief use your highest quality setting that you can and if you're going to do some work on your photo save it as a tiff until you're ready to output it i'll catch you in the next video see you later